All right, welcome to another episode of Wine and Design. We're here in the showroom of the Vintage View headquarters in uh, Denver, Colorado. I'm Jacob, and I'm joined here uh, by Betsy, who is our seller expert covering the West, the West Coast, California, Vegas, and all those great markets. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for letting me speak with you. Absolutely. So um, we call this Wine and Design for a reason. We need to have some wine, and then we'll talk about some design. So we're bringing a 2015 Fox and Chenin Blanc from uh, Santa Maria Valley, which is Santa Barbara. Before we dive into tasting notes, I think we'll just sip on this and talk about the real reason that, that we're here today. And this is to discuss one of your uh, most recent projects in Corona del Mar, which is a really amazing um, high-end neighborhood in uh, the OC. Uh, you worked with a builder, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Actually, I worked with the architect, Brandon Architects, yeah. and the builder is Patterson Custom Homes. And you, this home is uh, hitting the market for $12 million, and we're gonna flash some beautiful photography from it. Um, overlooking the ocean, beautiful floor to ceiling windows, and a two-story wine cellar. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, no, it, it's incredible. The, uh, the bottom floor is 12 feet of racking, the top floor is 10 feet of racking, and it's actually supported on a piece of glass in, that is, separates the top and the bottom. Okay, so you're talking about 22 feet of wine wall and somehow it's supported by a piece of glass? That is correct. So Brandon Architects and Patterson knows what they're doing with glass, I hope. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, they, they, they definitely know what they're doing. You know, it made me nervous at first when they brought the design to me, but you know, it, it's one of those things where I know metal and I know walls. They're the ones that are going to be able to know if that glass is going to be supported with those frames. And that's a good point. There's a lot of people with crazy ideas out there and, and design. And as long as there's someone smart who has an engineering background, understands the, the glass product or whatever, you can do a lot of crazy stuff. So kudos to those guys for just rocking it. This is one of my yeah. favorite projects I've, I've seen. Um, in general, we've seen a number of wine sellers from homes in this neighborhood, in this in the zip code. Um, Tell me about the style that they're they're rocking because these houses look awesome. Yeah, I mean, Southern California is coming out with some beautiful product. It's it's a lot of openness. It's a lot of glass and airiness where you can see the beautiful California weather. And they're implementing a lot of wine cellars and a lot of wine cellars on the main floor behind glass. So you really interact with the wine. Yeah, and, and one of the, the cool things about this project that we're looking at is the wine cellar, you can see the ocean from it. Like, how cool is that? I mean, I yeah. want to drink wine and look at the ocean and grab my next bottle so easily. Um, which leads me to a very important question. Whenever we publish photos or talk about um, cellars like this, you know, big airy rooms, direct sunlight, all that stuff, people, the internet trolls come out and say, how can you possibly put your poor wine in, in harm's way like that? I think I know the answer to that, but I, I have a question for you. How can you, in a situation like this, ensure that the wines can last for a long time and be safe? Great question, Jacob. So you just need to make sure that you're putting in the right unit. There's a lot that you can do with UV protectant on the glass, but it's just going to be about putting in the right unit, trusting the right HVAC person to install it to make sure that you're bringing in the right temperature or the right humidity and account for all that light. It, it is amazing because those uh, cooling units can do wonders mm -hmm. if properly installed and properly planned for. Yes. And a simple UV protectant film can block all that sunlight out. And, and these are things that we didn't think about, you know, 10 years ago. And yeah. wine cellars. Um, now, uh, actually, I'd say the, the most important question is, uh, I've had a couple of sips of this wine. I'm, I'm, Me too. I, I'm hoping you enjoyed it, but what do you think of the wine? I love it. No, it, it's it's delicious. It's it's I, it's one of my favorites. I like it. We, uh, we picked this wine with purpose. It's got an anchor on the label, and because of that, and we're talking about a, a home overlooking the ocean, it just seemed to make sense. Not to mention Chenin Blanc is such a, a really cool white wine grape that uh, has a lot of body and flavor and I feel like it would just really drink well with the sea breeze kind of hitting us. Yeah. So we should all move to the OC. Let's go. Let's go. Buy a house. <laughs> have uh, Patterson Custom Homes and Brandon Architects design said house. Yes. And life will be good. Sounds good to me. It's a good plan. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for uh, joining us for another episode of Wine and Design and we will see you next time. Bye.